There we go. Let's put one in here, like we said we were going to do, and then the rest goes into the condenser. Oh, that could have been bad. I did that in the wrong order. There we go. Although now I have the issue of having to get all of this uh, plastic off the table at this incredibly slow rate. There we go. Give and give. And we can chuck the rest of the plastic into the table. Good. Good, good, good. So this is now going by the stack into uh, here, and it's generating printed silicon, which is great. We're always going to have an overflow stack here, but the way I see it, this might actually help us in the long run, because instead of having to go into the condenser to grab one if we need it, we can just take the uh, end pile from here, and it also stops uh, any excess production from overflowing. But now that we have the printed silicon in here constantly loading up, we need a way to get it out. And to do that, we're going to have to run an extraction through maybe the opposite end? What happens if I put a funnel on this side? What does it eject? It ejects the silicon! Okay, good to know! Although we should probably turn that off before it starts making things worse. Wait, hang on, I'm an idiot. This is what this was for. This is the output for the silicon. I'm a dumbass. And I think I've also kind of screwed myself by running the power cables here, because now I can't power this. I'm gonna have to run the power for this overhead instead of uh, on ground level. That might be a thought. Or hiding them. That could also be another thought. Although I like the cluttered look. I like how cluttered it looks, but I don't like the way the power cables add to it, in a sense. They just look weird and out of place. And I think that might be because because they're purple and green and neon when all of this is, well, most definitively not. But we can work out aesthetics at a later time. Right now, we've got to get this thing powered up. And I think the best way to do that might be to drag from... Wait, no. Wait, yes, this one should work. Because this isn't plugged into that water wheel. It's plugged into this water wheel. All I've got to do is invert the polarity of the neutron fuck. Hang on, those aren't words. All I've got to do is invert the polarity of the neutron flow. That is just what I just said. All I've got to do is invert the direction of the rotational power. And I can do that with a gear shift. Again, I don't like how bulky the gear shifts look. There's got to be an easier way of doing this, right? There's got to be a better, more neat looking way. Why, of course there is. We have gearboxes on our side. Oh, wait, hang on. That works? Okay. I didn't think that would... Oops. I didn't think that would work, but if it does, then more power to it. Jesus. Okay. Give me the brass casing so I can put that back in place. Thank you. And then I put that there, and then all I have to do, grab one more, and put that, do you mind, there. And then turn it. And then turn it again. And then all I'd have to do is find a way to connect this one to this one. And I'm pretty sure I can do that. Uh, what if I... 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 What if I, what if I, what if I, what if I, use a shaft, and then another gearbox? No, because that's going to invert it, isn't it? If I put another gearbox in here, where did my gearboxes go? There they are. Then it's going to go the wrong way. Yeah, it's going to go in instead of out. This would have to be a... Oh, wait, no. That, that's, it's still bulky, but I'm, I'm more than happy to accept the gear shift being here. That works. Yeah, there we go. And then all we have to do is add the lever on here. Let's go grab the lever. How are we missing a stick? We can go about adding some more fancy levers in at a later time, because I know we do have one since we have switches and gauges in here. But right now, I want to focus on getting it functional over getting it looking good beyond, you know, general aesthetics. So if we put this here and flip, there we go. That's going to start exporting the silicon now, which it should have been mass producing. And that silicon is going to get funneled into here, which is going to get pushed up into here. So the silicon is going to be in the bottom. In the top is going to be the um, printed logic circuit. All that we now need to funnel in into here is redstone dust, which being that it should be the only empty or rather the only full part of it now, we should be able to just pump that in by pumping it in from the side. It's not the best place to pump it into, but it should work, hopefully. Although I am concerned that this can only fit one at a time. That's really going to bottleneck our production. We also have to find a way to feed this thing gold. And from the looks of it, we're running out of space because of this power cabling. So, yeah, let's start running this thing into the ceiling. Hang on. There's got to be a faster tool to break these things with. This is ridiculous. And my game crashed. Do I... Do I even want to know at this point? Do, do I seriously even want to know at this point? Oh, that, that seemed to fix it all. If it tells me that easy place mode is on one more time. Okay, well now that the cables are out of the way, that provides us a much more clear opening 
as to how to provide this thing with gold. Because we're just going to use a condenser, because why wouldn't we? Why, why, why wouldn't we? Ah, right, yeah, I need another mechanical belt. Hold on. There we go. That's feeding things in. Now all we have to do is set up a condenser with a dropper right below it. Or, better yet, I believe we can just put another funnel here, right? Uh, actually, hang on, I better get the condenser first. Once again, eventually, at some point, circumstances provided, I am going to try my best to replace all of these condensers um, with like non-condenser alternatives like try and find a way to actually farm the gold that we need and stuff because while i love the condensers for the sake of convenience and stuff and i think they're absolutely brilliant to help alleviate a lot of the slug of the early game my opinion on them has sort of shifted from that to they're just kind of they, they ruin the experience they both ruin and benefit the experience they benefit in the early game but if you keep them around by late game everything's just going to feel kind of pointless. So I want to I wanna set ourselves up so that we have a viable system with them and then we can slowly start to phase them out. That's the plan I've ended up coming up with because it's, it's, it's the plan that I like, uh, to be honest with you. There we go. So now that we've got the condenser there, we've just got to grab ourselves another energy collector. So bear with me while I do that. There we go. Mark one. And then we can do mark two. And then we can do mark three. Brilliant. There we go. So the collector goes on top, like so, and then the glowstone goes on top of the collector, like so, and then we just have to give this thing a single golden ingot. Where did I put my gold? There it is. And with this single golden ingot now in production, all we've got to do is wait. So this goes in here, which then goes in here, which then produces us the printed logic circuit, which gets funneled out and into this thing here which then blows it up slowly, slowly, ever so slowly, onto this conveyor belt here, there we go, which then drops it into this inscriber here, which combined with the silicon, it's not being powered. Why is that not receiving power? Wait, no, it's not be, it's not receiving redstone, that's why. Okay, we still need to do the redstone production um, thing. So, yeah, the next step is the redstone. Now we have a redstone production system over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hijack this, um, because as it stands right now, the redstone... Actually, you know what, let's turn this thing back on, hang on. As it stands right now, the redstone is being used for the singular purpose of, uh, creating us... Uh-oh, I forgot I left those in there. Oh well, well for now, it's being used for the specific purpose of making us rose quartz, right? Which is good and all. <coughs> Which is good and all. Um, but we don't just have to use it for one specific purpose. We can, ultimately, add another brass funnel onto this and have it lead over there. So I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to lead it around the back since ultimately this place is going to be... I mean, it's not really, not really being used for anything at the minute other than, you know, the lever. Another thing I wish we had in this version of Create, which unfortunately we don't, is the item vault. Um, because this is going to be a lot of uh, rose quartz. I think the best alternative to this actually would be the drawer. I'm pretty sure we have storage drawers. Yeah, we have storage drawers. If we set this, holds 32 stacks per drawer. Actually, you know what? This 32 stacks is a lot, but this can already hold more than 32 stacks. So I think, I think for now we're better off sticking with the netherite barrel. Let me turn this back off. Leaving that machine on is giving me anxiety. But yes, for the next stage of our plan to work, we obviously need ourselves uh, another brass funnel. So yeah, we don't have to compact brass for the brass funnel, I don't think. We can just make it in the computer. Oh, I'm starving to death. Uh-oh, do we have any steak? Do we have any apples? Yes, we do. Okay, good to know. Right then, let's make ourselves some more brass funnels. All we need is the dried kelp, which... We get from downstairs. I really need to make another one of these terminals. What did I come down here for again? I've completely forgotten. Dried kelp. There we go. And give us those brass funnels, baby. There we go. We've got two more. Isn't great, but without making some more electron tubes, it's all we can really manage. Besides, we only need two for this to work, so we should be fine. So I think the first thing we're going to do, we're going to set up the actual conveyor belt, just because I don't fancy having a ton of redstone just chat all over the floor. Right then, let me grab some mechanical belts. I've laid out the uh, direction that I want the belts to go in. Now it's just a matter of time or, and effort and research to try and figure out if they're actually going to connect properly. Because uh, unfortunately, it can be a little finicky. That one's fine. These are going to be fine because these are all on the same uh, Y level. It's these ones that are going to get finicky. So that one works fine. And I've run out of belts. You know what? Just give me a stack. This one works fine. What about this one? This one does not work fine. Okay, so we're going to have to go... That's the level it's on. Yeah, that's the level it's on. So it'd have to be that one. 
or that one, it's gonna have to be here. So we're gonna have to bring it across like that. Turn the pipe, get rid of these. There we go, and that, there we go, that connects. And then we've gotta add another one here. Uh, that one's fine where it is, connect that one. And then we've gotta add the final one. It's too, it's too high. It's too high to be piped in that way. Because the funnel has to be here, the funnel has to be here. Which means the actual conveyor belt needs to be here. What happens if I set that up, actually? What is that gonna do? Nothing. Okay, yeah, so it's gonna be finicky no matter what. At least it's not just a... It's not one of the issues that would make me mad. I'm gonna have to bring it around the side here, and I'll do that next time, because my game is crashing again. What was I doing again? Uh... Oh yeah, redstone input, right. So, let's turn this. Something changed when I did that. Something big, and I don't recognize what. Either way, let's take this, put it here. And then, so that we don't have to deal with the depot situation, let's do this. No, that's not gonna work, because otherwise it's gonna be in front of this. Unless we remove it, like we did on this side. Did we even ever have it on this side? Let's move the shapeless crafting. Let's move this, let's get it out of the way, and let's put it somewhere else. Because we're gonna need it very soon anyway. We're gonna need a lot of these very soon. So I think for now, let's just take this down. There we go. Let's take it down for now. Let's remove these gears here, because haha, -ha, funny penis shape is getting in the way. And then let's fix this cable here. Wait a second. Where does the power go down? I just realized earlier I destroyed the entire cable by accident. Where does the power go down? I forgot the remote. Okay, it's still in place. It's still got power going in. It's still connected up. Okay. It's... Moved. The wither has moved. I built it on this podium. It has moved. Where does this power connect? I've completely forgotten where it connects. Oh, we cannot risk something like that again. I wish I could go micro and just see. Thankfully, if the wither does ever break out, it'll have to... Uh, it shouldn't do anything as long as there's no mobs spawning down there. If there are, it'll kill the ones that are there, and then it should stop. Because no mob should spawn near it, and there should be nothing to catch its aggro because it's too far away from us. Fingers crossed, it stays that way. Okay, and this one goes across like this. This one comes down. This one comes across. No, hang on, that's in the wrong position. That one needs to end again after a singular. So like this. Like this. And then this one needs to extend by one that way. Like so. There we go. Across. And, and then across. Great. We have an input for redstone now. We don't have an output now that I think about it, but one problem at a time, I suppose. We could always just output it here and um, do some fancy stuff with it. I don't know. Uh, but we just need to get this part working first of all. So, step one, let's give this thing some rotational power. We can't really steal it from there, but we can borrow it from somewhere else. If we go around the back here, Temporarily turn on our magnet real quick and then use ourselves the chain drives one two We can then use these one two three Drive it all the way up here like so one and two That turns the wrong way, but we can add in under here a gear shift or a Gearbox or whatever the hell you want to call them like so, which will change the direction of the rotation. Good. From there, if we add a gearbox in here, flip it so that it's still connected, like so, and then drive a shaft along here. That one's going the wrong way now as well, so what we're going to have to do, we're going to have to add a second gearbox in. Uh, let's add that second gearbox here, like so. And then if we just... Oh, we're going to have to move that, aren't we? Put that there. I don't suppose we can just do a triple gearbox, can we? Yeah. Nope, that goes the wrong way. Uh, okay, what we can do instead is we can do the singular gearbox here. There we go. Let's rotate it like so. And then add in the shaft. So now it's going the right way. Then from there, we have to connect it up here. So I think if we use the chain drives again, we should have just enough. One, two, three. And then we can just use another set of chain drives for this one. So give me another chain drive. That's a gear shift. There we go, chain drive. One and then two. That continues on the travel there. Next up, let's go with a shaft. 
and then gearbox, and then shaft, and then gearbox. And now you're overstressed. Of course, now you're overstressed. I don't suppose turning you down would fix that, would it? It would. Concerning. You're still quick enough to mix, right? Nope, you're not. Smeg. Right, in that case then, we're gonna have to section this off into its own uh, dedicated power thing. So instead of connecting through here, what we can do instead is we can set up another water wheel. So let's put the floor back and then put the water wheel here. So if we dig one, two, three, let's go grab the wheel, put that here. Now we just have to grab the bucket of water. Where'd I put the bucket? I probably left it upstairs, didn't I? Yes, I did, along with all seven other buckets that we just have because we keep forgetting that we have them. And let's put this on top. There we go. It's a lot slower, but it's working. 